Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? Oh, 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 oh. Her out there. I don't think I actually need these darts. I should stop taking them. I don't need whatever whatever's in there. I should stop picking it. I'm not sure where to go from here. Can I launch myself in the cannon? Uh, try the locker room? I don't think it's going to lead anywhere though. It's just a locker room. Hmm, think I can fit into that air vent? It's not an air vent though. It's a drain. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Is that open? Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe I don't actually have to get into those areas up there. Yeah, it's just up here. I'm sorry, are we going to take that whole thing, or... Just the tank attached to the outside. Okay. And there's my hydrogen. No. Just need to walk out the door and... We have an intruder! I'm shutting all the doors! Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! How do I get out now? Damn it! Just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. That's a great idea. I can't wait. Stop it. And now I just get in. <laughs> I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why did you mention that before? Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. Who needs trains and planes? We ought to send the mail by cannon. All right. All right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm going to have the worst headache for the rest of the week. I'm done fooling around. You never liked me, did you? Any rare stuff in here? That's the one that did it. Oh, they don't like that I just stole something from them. Fair enough. Do you have anything special on you? God, my Harry and St. George. They have the no questions axe. And it's about to break. Fuck that. Okay, actually, I, I should take it at least just to see, like, what it looks like. That looks incredibly cool. It's very fast, too. 
let's ride out until it breaks, which won't be long. tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. Yeah, that is pretty close. Oh shit, I have a lot of skill points. Totally forgot about that. Well, let's get the one where I take less damage. Hmm. Better prices, that doesn't matter. Uh. None of these really matter, to be honest. Well, this would make me do 15% more melee damage in general. That would matter. So, sure. Make them bleed more often. With puncture or slashing weapons. Sure, I don't know if I have a lot of bleeding causing weapons, but... Can't hurt. Let's try this thing out. <laughs> that was very satisfying. It's so cool looking. God, is it hard to see a knight with that in my face. Ugh. No, what am I using? A shovel? Hell no. Uh, let's take a flash. Let's also heal. Also, my blood sugar is low. Do I have... Uh, yeah, I, d I d made a lot of uh, sucranose and glucose. Mm, a little bit too high, but it'll be alright. Right. No more Mr. Nice Guy! I'm ignoring where I'm going and trying to look for fresh water. Yes, found it! <laughs> the elevators must be up these stairs. Ah, uh, yes, this place. Ooh, I don't think I want to try to get past Headmistress while she's charge. on the. Where have they hidden her controls? <clears throat> Excuse I just totally me, missed all that. <laughs> could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? Well, I tried. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. The elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? Those look like convenient things to grab onto and get up to the next floor, perhaps? Oh, the security box is up there, I think, for that you thing? All the other doors are closed, so... Yeah, I think I need to try to get up here. Ooh, what can we get here? Medicated bomb? I'll buy that one. Mm. Adrenaline. Run and jump and play without losing your breath. Increases the rate of stamina regeneration for a short time. Sure. I got a bit of money and it's not like I'm saving it for anything. I would like one of those, please. We 
bonnet part. It's out of power. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? How did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her. Didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. I can't help it if I don't remember. <laughs> Lay still, you bastard. I think I need to drop down from the bridge on top of that place with the two receptionists. Huh? Ah, there we go. And up I go. <laughs> I can't get into where the receptionists are. Fine, they're safe for now, I guess. You are about to reveal the truth. Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, you are done with any adventures in Wellington Wells. Oh yeah, so we are very close to the end. Yeah, let's do it. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Did you hear something? Ooh. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day? I might have had a little. <laughs> the tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee? So. You people are in charge of the whole shebang. That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hark into the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. Hello? You? Hello? Here's Ollie. Hello? Time to pay the piper, Jack. 
I wonder if Jack's even still alive. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! You can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! Just duct tape in there. I just wanted to search it in case there was anything super special because of where we are. Please do not broadcast the same tape more than once a week as the public may wonder if something has happened to Uncle Jack, which of course it certainly hasn't. Okay, yeah, Uncle Jack is dead or something. It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Do you know... There are times that you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Mm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How would you can that? Yes, the camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who would have liked that? Margaret, eh? Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these fabulous dolls of Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them They're from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. Jesus. You think a 12 year daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. Imagine living without it, so. So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in, and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're out. my... Neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. All have to stop. That they have to stop, stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. I really didn't see that coming, but thinking back on it, all the pieces do fit. Redirecting our anger onto someone else. Onto Jack. Our poor memory always forgetting things. 
very important things even. One of those really power thingy-mabobs. You're on air. Someone's coming through the popper. Someone's coming through the popper. It's not going away. Sorry you had to see that. The Bobby Popper! More of them! Someone's coming through the Popper! Stop going away! Ollie! We all get what's coming to us in the end. Come to the end of our time. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack, will they? It's me. We're running out of power. Oh, you have to stop. You all. Have to stop. Stop. Stop it. But you won't, will you? You won't. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. We've come to the end of our time. Walking out the front door's out in the question. Good thing I made you get that float. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! 
It's not a lovely day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. Lovely day for fucking war anyway. Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! You all right, sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The These people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? I was happy before. Wasn't I? Are you really a constable? I... Patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Let's finish off with some thoughts on the Ollie Starkey storyline, and also We Happy Few just in general as a whole. I don't think I'm going to have that much to say, because I feel like I've said most of it at the end of Arthur's storyline and Sally Boyle's. I'm glad I played as Ollie. I really wasn't expecting to like them as a character, but actually they're pretty interesting, and I kind of like them. Certainly they got a lot more likable as I actually played as them. Uh, compared to just the brief interactions we had with him as as Arthur. And it revealed some important stuff about what was going on in the military and behind the scenes as far as who knew exactly what about the Germans. As a whole, I would call a wee happy few enjoyable mixed bag. It's really, really impressively polished in a lot of ways, but in some ways it's really wonky. Like, it looks gorgeous, the the, the cutscenes and the voice acting and everything just looks and sounds and feels really nice. But the whole survival and crafting and combat and stealth and all of that aspect is just severely imbalanced, which I mentioned at the end of the Arthur playthrough. But it really is a problem with the whole game, no matter which character I was playing as. On normal difficulty, it's just way too easy. There's almost no challenge at all, really. There's very little motivation to really find every little thing, because I don't need every little thing. There's too many things to loot. Most of them are irrelevant and just feel pointless. I'd like to point out that I'm pretty sure I, through the entire game, never actually made use of an upgraded chemical station, chemical bench, whatever it's called, or, uh, or workbench. I know I upgraded some, but I never actually used it. I almost used one as Ollie, making the uh, that burning axe thing, but then I wasn't actually able to use it, and then eventually just found one on uh, that enemy that I killed, which I used for a couple hits before it broke, and that was it. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually, literally ever made use of a single upgraded workbench or laboratory. It's just like weird. The game's really imbalanced and bizarre. But the nice thing is, is everything sounds good enough and looks good enough, and the characters are interesting enough, and everything's polished enough that... Uh, despite just running around and killing probably, like, hundreds and hundreds of civilians in this playthrough, I would bet. Despite the absurdity of all that, it's kind of fun to have 
just revel in the absurdity of all of it and just mess around and do absolutely ridiculous things, even though it's not challenging. The storyline is interesting enough and the things that happen silly enough that it was still fun. That's all I can think of to say about the game, really. I've really enjoyed my time with We Happy Few, but I don't feel like I really want to spend more time with it and play any of the other DLCs that I haven't played so far. I don't know, I just feel like I've gotten my fill, you know? So, I'm not going to say I definitely won't play any other DLCs, but I probably won't. That has been Arthur, Sally, and Ollie's storylines of We Happy Few, as well as Lightbearer DLC. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.
Everything's better under the sun. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. <laughs>